Hello, this is Tyler with Theater Design Company. I'm going to go over some alarm.com features. This time we're going to add a thermostat schedule. We're going to name the thermostat in case you have multiple thermostats and also show you some of the settings that should be set as far as uh, fire and away modes. Um, if you have a fire alarm system or if you have a fire, you generally don't want your um, thermostat system, especially if you have a central air with the fan going. So we're going to uh, enable that feature. We are also going to go through and I'll show you some custom scheduling for the thermostat as well as a few other features. So let's get started here. Uh, first thing, let's get our demo account pulled over. So you saw the last video we did, we did outdoor light switch. So this is the same demo home. Um, basically we have thermostat right here. And so what we're gonna do is we'll just skip right to this. Uh, we won't go up to our upper left. Um, and what we'll do is we'll look at our schedules first here. So this is kind of the default alarm.com scheduling. It's set for seven day. Um, you can actually set this for five plus two if you work nine to five. So it's just basically giving you the weekday, the weekend. Seven days, a little more configurable. Um, and what it's doing is it's uh, keeping the thermostat set uh, after you go to sleep. It's dropping the temperature a little bit. Um, you leave for work, it's dropping it a little bit more. Um, on the weekend, you may be home, so it raises it up. Um, you get home from work and it kicks it on at 70 degrees before you get home uh, and that's where you want to set the times and, and scheduling um, based on your schedule so you know if you know you're gonna be home at 4 p.m. on a Saturday you'll you'll change that um, for example uh, on this demo account generally you'd be home you know five o'clock we want it to kick on at 70 degrees so we'll roll these down uh, this is actually where it makes sense to do the five plus two day schedule so you got weekday here we'll go five and on the weekend, you're probably home all day, so you just you just set it at 70. It overlaps because it's on a four schedule setting, which is the most effective. Um, sleeps at 67. You can do global here. That's kind of a nice feature. Um, and then say on the weekend you uh, go out every night to the country club, you can double click on this, go down to custom, and actually drop this down. Say you don't need heat on at all. You drop it down to 60. That's custom mode there. Um, there's not too much more to go over on the thermostat. The alarm.com does not mess with the function of the thermostat on your wall. So you can uh, keep your thermostat settings. A house cleaner, friends, guests can go up and turn the thermostat up they need. Um, it will uh, not override it until its next scheduled date. So say you had a house cleaner come in at 9 o'clock and they're cold, they can go up to the thermostat on the wall, raise that to 75, and at you know five o'clock here when we set at it'll start actually dropping it down to seven degrees maybe you don't want the house at 75 degrees so pretty simple setting there um, the other thing we want to do in here is check your rules so fire safety this is important turn fan thermostat off so we actually want to enable that uh, there's some other functions here steam temperature I never do anything with that that's not even worth going over uh, sensor left open so perfect one to go over say you configure um, your thermostat and someone leaves front door open you can uh, you know most likely not gonna happen but you could uh, patio doors more likely kids leave the patio door open you can have it offset the heat or the cool so if it's summer and it's 95 degrees out and your house has got AC on you may want it to shut the AC all the way off because you're just heating the outside uh, in the winter you may want it to crank the heat up so your house doesn't get too cold so simple you know rules and commands that are they're done there you can also have it add a recipient which is nice so say the kid leaves the patio door open you can actually have it do the heat offset and then you can actually have it email you that heat offsets on which would probably prompt you to check your alarm.com account and find out why that activity happened um, other features here uh, smart away is nice smart away basically um, if you're an active user of your alarm and you actually set your alarm every single day and disarm it every single day you can go in here and actually sit, set the system when it arms away to set your away and temperatures um, as needed. You could also do geofencing, which I'll go on another video with geofencing. We don't set a lot of stuff up with geofencing. I don't find it 100% reliable yet. Um, I find it a good way for someone to get their house broken into if they're not being careful. Um, so we'll, we'll go into that in much more detail later. Um, we're not going to do that, so we're going to exit out of there. Um, go back to devices. I think the only other thing in here that I usually do on customers' homes is uh, I would actually name the thermostat. So in this case, 
You don't need it to be that. And this thermostat is actually in the living room, and it's the only thermostat in the house, so we'll just label it living thermostat so you know the location. And uh, that's saved. Um, nothing else to go over on here. Notifications, so you could have it notify if you wanted to. Again, we went over this. Um, you could have it notify you every time the heat turns on. Um, probably not likely, but you may want it to uh, notify you when the AC is turned on because AC heat pumps are expensive to run. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else under that we can go over. Um, automation, and uh, I don't believe so. So we'll just go back to the home page and uh, see we changed it here to delivering the thermostat. 71 degrees inside, so the thermostat's off. No reason to run it. And I uh, hope you like this video. Hope it'll help you out with some scheduling.